What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel on do-it-yourself jobs and real home product reviews. I'm a tightwad handyman wannabe trying to save y'all time and money out there. In this video, we're going to be reviewing this kid's balance bike. This thing has three different positions. It's basically one bike. A tricycle, as you can see here, and it also folds in into something that looks like this. Look at that thick back tire. Two tires kind of pushed together and of course a regular Strider bike. So three in one, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested for this specific model. I recently came across it and it's a couple of years old. You can see it's holding up really well, very durable, no noticeable wear or anything like that, except for maybe some scuff marks on the plastic. The rubber, tie, the tires are indeed rubber. Now let's get this thing assembled a little bit for you. Can see, you can see how it works. They've basically got these axles that you can uh, kind of unscrew and that number there, number two, is going to mean a specific thing. So what you're going to do to, to kind of change from one position, from one uh, bike type to the other, you'll flip it over and you'll pull out these little rods. You need an Allen wrench. Two of them would be preferable so you can hold one while you unloosen the other one. So just like you see in the video here, we're going to be taking out those two. And that allows these arms, so to speak, to move freely back and forth. And in the instruction manual, it'll tell you... Um, how to position them. So we're going to use these pins here, the ones that we just took out, and we will reposition them in a different hole. And that basically allows you to move the wheels and use a different axle like this long one here uh, to convert the bike from a tricycle into a double wheeled into a strider, so on and so forth. So this is a look at how the double back wheel works. You can see we use that extra long axle and we will position the arm, the brackets, on number two, as you can see. So you just push that long axle all the way through and it takes a little bit of wiggling and jiggling to get it lined up with the hole there on the other side, just like that. And then you'll put these little bolts, uh, these little screws on the ends and everything tightens up really well. Incredibly sturdy, I've noticed. There's not a lot of jiggle or play or anything like that. So once these things are tightened up, uh, you can expect a pretty solid ride. All right, so there's another look at how we're positioning, repositioning that bracket to convert to another type. So we just saw that thick double-wheeled balance bike. So that's great for little kids who obviously need a little more stability. You can see I've got my little one there next to me watching me do this. Pretty simple job. It's not as easy as just clicking a button and just re kind of positioning things. You actually have to put it upside down and you have to get out your Allen wrenches and kind of reconfigure them. But not a hard job at all, I will say. Just make sure you have a couple of minutes. So next, this is gonna be um, position number three and this will be the Strider bike. You can see we just uh, re positioned the brackets and then we take the shorter axle and slide it through where it says number three and then you take your allen wrenches and tighten it up let's flip it over for you there we go and that is what the strider bike looks like pretty cool little design here let's get the kiddo on it and see now he's not super comfortable with this but just like my older kid, uh, it's just a matter of time that the, the brain seems to just kind of click. Right now, he's pretty unsure about it, so we're going to have to probably convert it down. There he goes a little bit, the walking, the old walking move. But that is what the Strider bike essentially looks like. There's my older one on it, and she can do pretty well. She's pretty tall, so... Obviously a little too big for this bike, but the seat does raise up and does raise down. So let's finish the final position for this bike. Again, there are three different positions, Strider, the big balance bike, and the tricycle. So we're gonna do the tricycle now. Let's extend those arms just like that to the outermost hole, and we'll put those pins back in. And I like sliding it up from the top. Well, it's actually the bottom because the bike is upside down. So just like this, just make sure you find those holes. You gotta wiggle them a little bit. 
and it slides right up and then you can take the bolt and attach it down from the other side there. I've got one hand, so bear with me. There we go. Make sure those are nice and tight. Use two Allen wrenches, as I said, one for each side. All right, next we'll slide the short, the shortest axle through position number one on the brackets, just like that. And then we'll take the little bolt and we'll screw those on and tighten them up again with two Allen wrenches. And we'll do the same thing for the other wheel, obviously. The ball bearings on these wheels are very smooth. They come pre-greased and make no noise. Very, very quiet. All right, so the final thing for the tricycle feature is to insert the pedals. Now, you're not supposed to use the pedals on any other position except for the tricycle option. So to do so, we're going to take that front wheel, and there's a little button. Press the button and slide that lever up, and then you'll take the pedal just like that, and it's a little sticky, but maybe put some WD-40 on there if you can't get it in very well. But um, in my case, just a little bit of elbow grease, and it popped right in. You should hear a click notifying you that it is securely in. If you don't hear that click, be careful. You need to hear that click. And we'll do the same thing, flip it over to the other pedal. Get that installed, and voila, there it is. Pretty easy. Now, I love this thing. It's super convenient. Uh, it takes up little space, I would say. Very sturdy. Look at those big rubber tires. I think it could uh, do a lot of gravel if you're you know, looking to use this on, on gravel and whatnot. All right, let's get the youngest on there. He's about three. And the pedals are a wee bit long. And he's pretty uncomfortable with that anyway, but it just takes a little bit of time. And let's put my oldest on there and she's she knows how to do it going uphill a little bit come on push there we go and that is it and that is about it overall a highly recommended little bike hopefully this video has been helpful for you for more do-it-yourself jobs and home product reviews be sure to subscribe thanks